G'day SCU students, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, unpacking the question, what we also sometimes call analysing the question or the task that you've been given for your assessment. And to do this what we mean is you need to take the different parts of the question, break it up into its smaller component parts, look at each part carefully and make sure that you include each in your planning, in your research and then also when it comes to writing the final answer. And to do this we're going to look at a little bit of an example. Let's take an example from a recent FBL unit assessment. It's a report the State Com uh, Tourism Commission has asked you to analyse the major trends in inbound international tourism to Western Australia over the past five years. The report should include up-to-date data presented in graphical form. It should also include tourist perceptions of holidaying in Western Australia and recommend ways to increase international visitor numbers. Then it says that your report will be read by the Chief Executive Officer of the State Tourism Commission and follow the conventions of a business report. And you've got your word length there of about 1,200 to 1,500 words. Let's start with the task words. The main task words here are to analyse, looking at analysing the major trends in inbound international tourism, and also to make some recommendations, to recommend ways to introduce, to increase rather, international visitor numbers. So these are the two key uh, task words, analyse and then make some recommendations. To analyse, we've talked about a little bit in talking about analysing the task, this means breaking down the results into their component parts and looking at them in more detail. So the, there are the main task words. Next, we'll look at the content words. And we're here looking here at things like the major trends in inbound international tourism. So that's not tourism from uh, interstate. To Western Australia, uh, looking at tourist perceptions of holidaying and also ways to increase international visitor numbers. There are the key content words there. And then finally, what we refer to as the limiting words. We've got here uh, a time limit of the past five years, so from 2008 to this year, and also making sure that you've got uh, within your word limit of 1,200 to 1,500 words. Next, you need to go on to some brainstorming. And what you need to do here is just start writing down on a piece of paper everything that you already know about the topic, from your general knowledge, from your research, and then you need to start thinking about what things you don't know that you need to find out more about. And that's what's going to help you determine what you actually need to do some research on. Okay, so as we start to brainstorm, I'm looking at things like, okay, the major trends in inbound international tourism. I have to remember, I'm not interested in tourists from Sydney or Melbourne, I'm talking about inbound international tourism. Just want to keep that uh, as a reminder. Um, remembering that I want uh, graphs. Graphs are going to be very important and to make sure that they're graphs for information for the past five years. Now, what kind of trends am I going to be looking for? Well, I think perhaps here within bad international tourism, I want to know where people are coming from. So I want to know things like nationality. I think that'll be important. Perhaps I can look at things like destination, where they go within Western Australia, places like Rottnest, Perth, the Southwest. And also perhaps I could find some information about their age. It's going to depend a little bit on what I, information I can find, but I think to find that kind of information, I'll probably look at the State Tourism Commission website. From there, I think, right, I'm looking at, okay, tourist perceptions, tourist perceptions, that's interesting. Uh, what are some synonyms for tourist perceptions? I guess I might do some searches looking at things like tourists' impressions. Uh, I might also be interested in things like tourist opinions. And I'm thinking, while I might be able to find some information on the Library One search, what I must, might also try is interview uh, some tourists and find out a little bit more about what their uh, uh, impressions are. Um, other than that, that's probably going to be the source of most of my data. Now, once I'm actually starting to look at the uh, recommendations, well, I'm thinking, okay, so if I want more people to come to Western Australia from overseas, I'm thinking perhaps I might target particular um, nationalities based on who, who comes to Australia most. Who do I know comes to Australia most? Well, I know that uh, tourists from the UK like uh, coming to Western Australia. I know that play, uh, uh, tourists from places like India, I'm thinking perhaps Malaysia, uh, 
might be interesting to look at uh, the numbers coming in. So I'm thinking that perhaps some things that we could recommend are things like uh, uh, improving the cost of flights and the regularity of flights, uh, maybe even organising something through airlines to make, uh, to make flights cheaper, to encourage more people to come. I haven't done too much work on this yet, but already I'm thinking about it and I've already got a number of ideas out that I can start to develop and start to research as well. Okay, so now you've unpacked the task, you've done a bit of brainstorming, and now you're ready to start doing some research.